Let's look into the spectacular world of Indian acrobatic pole. Malakam is composed of the word mala, which translates to gymnast, man of strength, or wrestler, and kam, which means pole. One of the closest translations is gymnastic pole or wrestler's pole. The practice was initially used as a supplementary exercise for wrestlers. You could practice and strengthen various grips using the pole that you would then apply to your grips in wrestling. The earliest recorded references to Malakam are found in the 12th century classic Manalosa, written by Someshwar Chalukya. However, it is somewhat disputed about the relationship between the Malastamba that's mentioned and how exactly it relates to the sport of Malakam that we know today. A lot of the history behind the sport is somewhat unclear. However, the sport became officially visible approximately between 1800 and 1810. Pole Malakam was started by Balam Bhaddada Diyodha, who was the fitness instructor of one of the chief ministers known as a Peshwa. His student Damodar Guru Moghe realized that the variations of grips were actually quite limited on the pole so he began using a cane instead. However, due to the unavailabilities of actually getting canes to use, a new variation was developed with a rope. This became known as rope malakam. There are three main types of malakam. There's pole or fixed malakam, there's rope malakam, and hanging malakam. The standard pole that is used for the fixed or hanging malakam is usually made from teak or shisham, which is Indian rosewood. This is then polished with castor oil. This is then sculpted into the classic pole shape that you see with a slightly wider base and then a round top. Although this is widely known as malakam, in other regions of India, it's got different names, such as garadi, in its most basic form, the sport uses a vertical wooden pole on which acrobatic maneuvers and stunts are performed, such as climbing, flipping, spinning, hanging, etc. The acrobatic pole is most commonly performed by men. It's often accompanied by drumming or other types of music. Typically, it will be performed at festivals or celebrations. It is considered a form of entertainment and there are also specific competitions just for Malakam practitioners. Different people describe the sport as having various levels of spiritual significance. To some, they see it in a similar strand to yoga as a way to connect with the divine, but to others, it's simply just a sport or a pastime to have fun and keep fit. As you can see in this picture, there are students of under 12 and under 14 that are lining up to perform Guru Namaskaram. This is a prayer to Lord Hanuman, who is the patron deity of wrestlers. He's noted for his strength, courage, self-discipline, and this is done before every practice and before even touching the pole. On the pole itself, there are various types of performance. Usually it's solo, but you can also do pair performance and group performances with one pole or multiple poles. When it comes to entertainment, there aren't really any rules put on top of it. Recently, it seems like Malakam is becoming much more recognized. There's been much more effort to actually document and preserve this tradition. There are various organizations and individuals that are looking to raise awareness and overview different competitions, etc. Traditionally, in a competition and in practice, each round is two minutes. Usually, they will begin with a entry from the floor onto the pole, and they will end with a dismount from the pole onto the floor. In a similar way to gymnastics, the dismount should be done with the feet landing together with no stumbling or steps, with the idea being to show control and mastery over the movement. Within the two minute round, you should show all of your skills to display strength, coordination, technical ability, so on and so forth. When you're watching the top level athletes, it really is phenomenal the ability they have on the pole. This picture was taken at the Tamizan Sports Academy for Malakam. Here you can see sort of the mini pole obviously being used to test their balance and ability at the top of a pole, but without the added danger of the height. So I must include some parallels to other popular pole acrobatic sports. They're very similar and you will see a lot of the same techniques being done on the Malakam to the Chinese pole 
and in pole dance even. They're all very similar sports in a lot of ways. I personally think any practitioner of any one of these sports is probably going to learn something by studying another. It's really quite amazing how different cultures and different practices from completely different parts of the world can actually come together and you can see there are a huge amount of shared similarities between them. This video is part of my series where I explore sports, traditions all around the world that in one context could easily fit into the circus but outside of this, they're existing as their own unique practice, which I think is fascinating. And I wanna learn as much about them as possible. If you have any requests for future videos or future topics I should cover, please let me know in the comments. If you've liked the video, please leave me a like. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.